Good afternoon. We have with us today Jagannath Banerjee, a 2024 pass out from IBS Hyderabad. He's a 10 pointer for CTP and he's been placed uh, with JP Morgan, from what I understand. Jagannath, uh, let me first congratulate you for being placed and uh, as an analyst, from, uh, from what I know, tell me more about your experience at IBS Hyderabad. So, uh, thank you. Uh, well, when I joined IBS Hyderabad, I didn't have uh, any, any any expectations as to that I land at JP Morgan Chase. Uh, so, uh, IBS has indeed delivered beyond my expectations. Uh, the entire IBS experience has been a very, has been a wonderful one, including a lot of learnings, uh, starting with making some amazing friends, meeting some amazing tutor, tutors and mentors, and, and then also uh, finding my passion for finance. Uh, so I, I think overall my IBS journey has been a great learning experience. Jagannath, you've also been a part of a couple of clubs, you've played some sport. So do you think IBS Hyderabad helped, in, you, know, uh, helped you develop a well-rounded person? Definitely, definitely. I think IBS Hyderabad has a very holistic approach towards uh, development of a student. Uh, not only academics and all, it, it, it also develops the co-curricular aspects uh, like, men, like, like you mentioned that I was part of some of the clubs I was part of Samavesh where I had played the violin and the flute uh, Samavesh is the official uh, music and cultural club of IBS Hyderabad uh, I was also part of some of the other clubs uh, and, and IBS Hyderabad has a wonderful sports facility uh, so uh, I'd urge you to, if, you, if possible, visit the campus and see some of the wonderful stadiums and uh, both outdoor and indoor that are available for students to uh, be physically fit and yeah, definitely. So IBS Hyderabad provides a holistic approach to development of the student. Uh, so, uh, rightly mentioned that I'm just 21 years old and I have a long way to go and a lot of learnings and I think that even though I'm a 10 pointer, uh, I still have a lot to learn. Uh, it just because the score is perfect doesn't mean that I am and I have miles to go uh, and uh, so my two cents on how I, how I have managed my time would be that uh, it, it, it was always about prioritizing things. Uh, many a times, uh, club work and also academic academics, that is exams and uh, the end semester exams would would clash. And at such times, it, it, it is uh, imperative that we as MBA students learn how to manage our time, learn how to prior prioritize and say that, you know, for two hours I'll sit and study for tomorrow's exam and then for the next two hours I'll go and I'll uh, practice for uh, the club performance. So I think uh, it all boils down to time management and I believe that uh, if we can manage time effectively and efficiently, uh, then you know, uh, the experience can be a really wonderful one. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, so, as you rightly mentioned, that uh, I had gotten a pre-placement offer from the same company, that is J.P. Morgan Chase, where I had done my summer internship. Uh, regarding the placements, which is a separate activity conducted by the placement cell every year for students who don't get a PPO, uh, which is the 95 percent of the lot. Uh, so, for that, uh, my honest opinion would be that. Uh, if someone is really good at what they know and what they do, uh, then I think it's only a matter of time before the right company comes and picks them up. So uh, that will be my two cents on that.
zoom in on that one major elective? Uh, so, uh, the elective system works only in the second year. Yes. And, uh, and then obviously, there is a valid reason for that because the first year would give exposure to all the different uh, avenues and electives that that could uh, that, that that a student could take so for me personally uh, like since i was exposed to finance marketing hr uh, operations uh, i felt my calling in finance and i, I think the calling develops over the first year uh, it, it might not be the case that somebody is uh, fixated on a particular elective at the beginning of their MBA, but I think that calling develops over the first year and uh, by the end of the first year, I think most people uh, find their uh, groove and their niche, what they want to do uh, over the next two semesters. Prior to doing uh, an MBA, you were, uh, you were a BSc student in uh, mathematics. Didn't your parents pressurize you to continue uh, this in the same stream? Uh, was it you who decided to do an MBA? Uh, so, fortunately, I have wonderful parents who are very supportive and as do many others. Uh, for me personally, I felt that maths was not an area which, uh, pure mathematics was not an area which I felt I could specialize in uh, because I was more uh, interested in the applications of mathematics in business. Uh, and uh, not only mathematics, also economics and statistics because I had done my course in math, eco and stat. So, uh, that is what pushed me into picking up an MBA uh, and I think that the cascade fell from there. So many uh, parents who come to us, they also have these questions to ask about their lives. How supportive is the faculty? What is the infra like? Will my child be comfortable while staying here in pursuing an MBA? If you were to sum up uh, in a few lines uh, the facilities that are available at IBS and your experiences overall, at how would you So, uh, I, I think the summation would be again subjective, but I'll try saying two, three very important statistics. Uh, th the first is like, there is a case research center ranking uh, done by a UK agency uh, and globally, uh, IBS Hyderabad, IBS case center, uh, case research center, we had come second like Harvard was the first and IBS Case Research Center was the second. INSEAD and Wharton, all those were below IBS Case Research Center in terms of impact rankings. So I think that is one statistic which is telling in itself. And the second is, uh, we have a wonderful Bloomberg lab over here. Uh, and the Bloomberg terminals, there are I think approximately 10 to 12 Bloomberg terminals. And uh, the Bloomberg, if, you, if the viewer isn't already familiar, it, it, it is considered the gold standard of uh, financial data and analysis. So IBS Hyderabad has access to the Bloomberg terminals and Bloomberg data. So I, I think these two statistics are very telling in terms of how uh, the industry academia interface is very strong and how, how the students are kept very up to date with all the developments um, in, in academia and uh, the corporate. Uh, in terms of teaching uh, teachers and their uh, support, I think all the teachers here are fantastic and they are very supportive. Uh, I think personally, uh, a student would have to find their uh, a teacher or a mentor whom they are comfortable with. And once they find some one such person, uh, I think the next the remaining remainder of their MBA would be a cakewalk because you know you have somebody whom you can trust and somebody who can guide you. Uh, in turn, so I think that is. Uh you, you, of course, you're joining JP Morgan as an analyst now. You're still very young. Do you think, at some point in your career, you would start something of your own, an enterprise, a business? Uh, do you see yourself growing in that direction as well? Uh, so, ma'am, uh, I think every student has an innate entrepreneur in them, right. uh, but. To me personally, I, I don't think I am cut out as of now uh, for being an entrepreneur and I would like to spend some time learning uh, how the world operates, how, the business, how businesses function, how they manage money and their finances, how they raise capital. So uh, I think uh, that question might be answered in time, uh, but to, to the point of entrepreneurship, I think uh, if a student is indeed 
having an entrepreneurial bent of mind. Uh, the incubator here at ICFI is fantastic and it has some of the amazing collaborations uh, like uh, there is there are Atal incubators at Anantapur, there are Atal incubators tie-ups with uh, incubators all over the all over the country and also with Thai Hyderabad uh, which is you know an international level incubator uh, it's the Hyderabad chapter of the Thai incubator so uh, I, I think a student would definitely every student would definitely feel uh, encouraged and supported here at I IBS Hyderabad Thank you. Thank you.